So, it's the Community Shield, the curtain raiser, the first game of the season. Not official first game of the season, but it's still the first game of the season as far as I'm concerned. Really excited. Um, most I've been excited for a long time about the start of a season, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know whether that's because we've signed Lacazette and Kalasinac. I don't know. Obviously, they're both very, very talented footballers. And it's about time we had a striker up front that could actually bang goals in for fun, which Lacazette can do. So I'm looking forward to actually seeing what he's going to do, um, especially at the weekend. Uh, but not only that, obviously, throughout the course of the season. Obviously, we played Chelsea. Last time we played Chelsea at Wembley, we beat them to win the FA Cup. Um, they equalised with 10 men and I thought, oh, here we go. Same old, same old. But straight from kickoff, can't fault the lads. Um, Giroud with a pinpoint cross straight to Aaron Ramsey, who scored his second cup final winning goal. So, yeah, really, really excited about this. Um, I think there'll be a few changes in the team. In my opinion, we should be going with our best 11. And when I say our best 11, I mean Alexi Sanchez. Uh, if he's fit, he has to play and he seems fit. He's posting videos on Instagram at 10 o'clock at night that he's doing training routines and his T-shirt was dripping with sweat. And as far as I'm concerned, if he's fit and raring to go and wants to play, you play him. So, yeah, I'm, I'm buzzing. I'm really excited. I'm not going to get into any transfer talk or anything like that in this video. I'll save that for another day. I'm not going to be negative at all in any way, shape or form. I know that's hard to believe, but... I'm actually going to be really positive. I actually think we'll beat Chelsea. Um, a lot of their fans are up in arms. They don't think they've done anywhere near enough to compete for the title this season. Be nice to be able to be in that position where you, you're whinging and moaning that you know you've just won the league and you don't think you're any good anymore. You know, it'd be nice to actually be in that position, but that's for another video. My one to eleven. Is going to be. This is my one to eleven, not the one to eleven. I think he's going to pick. This is what I would pick. I'd go four four two. I'd play checking goal. I'd play Hector Bellerin at right back. I'd play Mustafi and Koscielny. I would play Kalasinac at left back midfield. The two in midfield, I'll go with El Nani and Xhaka. I've been banging that tune for about a year now since um, since we signed Xhaka, to be fair. They had a couple of games last season and um, I thought they were our best partnership. I know he keeps persisting with Ramsey, but you know everyone knows what I think about Aaron Ramsey. There we go. Um, left wing, Alexis Sanchez. Like I just said, if he's fit and raring to go, you play him. Don't have to play him for the whole game. Let's, let's have it right. It is only a friendly. But that being said, I want to beat Chelsea. All of my mates are Chelsea. I want to beat Chelsea. So you play your best team. Right wing, I'll play Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Um, this is where it's going to get a little bit controversial because the superstar Mesut Ozil, not in my team. Not this weekend. Sorry, buddy, but you don't get in. I don't think you've been that fantastic in pre-season. I don't think your heart's in it right now. Whereas Oxlade-Chamberlain and Alec, um, Alexi Sanchez, they, you know, obviously Alexi Sanchez is walking around kissing badges and all sorts, and, you know, and, and a lot of people are giving him grief because he, he, he pulled a sickie and all that. Well, he weren't due back until Sunday last week anyway, and he was genuinely ill. So a lot of people have eaten humble pie off of that one. Um, with Ozil, I just don't, you know, I just don't, I haven't seen anything in pre-season to make me think that he really wants to be here. You know, same languid body style, like, hasn't really hit any heights and he's been pretty poor. So, not for me, he's not getting in my starting 11. I'm actually going to go, like I said, 4-4-2. So, Giroud is going to play up front with Alexander Lacazette. And I'll play Giroud just off. So a 4-4-1-1, if you like. Um, Giroud flicking on headers. Lacazette getting in behind, which is his, his game. I don't think we've utilised him properly in pre-season. And 
I think it could work. When we were successful and we were going unbeaten for a whole season and winning trophies every year or every other year, we were playing 4-4-2. So don't really know why we shied away from that. And I know that everyone's going to be banging the 3-5-2 drum. Nah, not for me. 4-4-2, there's my 11. Let me know what you guys think. Um, stick your comments down below. Um, not far off 2,000 subscribers now as well. And my target when I set this channel up was to have a 1,000 by the time we played Leicester City, which is a week today. So I'm about 75% over that. So I really, really appreciate every single person who subscribes to this channel. I can't believe how quickly I've grown. And um, yeah, thank you very much. You all know what to do. Smash the like button. You all know that helps and it gives me feedback. Let's, let's me know that you like the video, you like the content on the channel. Obviously, if you're new and you haven't subscribed, where the hell have you been? Subscribe to the channel. I've got loads of content coming this season. Previews, reviews, any transfers happen, I'm here. And um, like I said, thanks very much for watching. Very quickly, sorry, nearly forgot. Arsenal 3, Chelsea 1. That's my score prediction. Laters, people.